Hi, uh, my name is Chris Lewis, and uh, Dr. Maller asked me to uh, record some of my thoughts and experiences um, regarding his lens fitting process, as well as the other lens fitting processes that I've been through um, since I had cornea transplants. Um, just to provide you with some background, I had I was um, diagnosed with keratoconus back in 2001, um, and ended up progressing. Uh, pretty rapidly to the point where I had transplants done, um, one in 2004 and one in 2006. Um, the surgery went very well. I ended up with very clear grafts, um, no signs of rejection. Um, and after I had surgery, I, I managed to get by um, wearing glasses. I was in college and um, I, I, was, I, I was able to see well enough that I could function. Um, I suffered from aberrations, um, especially at night. I couldn't really drive. Um, to, uh, at night, uh, but um, I, w I managed to get by, um, and, and of course I had low quality vision, but at the time, you know, it, that was sufficient for me. Um, however, when I graduated, I uh, realized that I, I needed to uh, go back to wearing contact lenses um, in order to, to fully function and, and, and to see a lot better. Um, so I started uh, looking for contact lens fitters around the area I lived. Uh, and I ended up trying RGP lenses um, with uh, three or four different doctors. Um, and the, R the RGP lenses uh, just weren't comfortable. Some of them wouldn't stay in my eye. Some of them I could only tolerate for a couple hours. And I, I basically never got to a point where I felt that um, I, I was anywhere near success. Um, so I started doing research online. Um, and as well as consulting with some other optometrists about what my next step should be. Um, and I, I, I came across scleral lenses. Um, and from there, I traveled around, pretty much around the country, uh, and I tried three different um, scleral lens fitters who I had heard about and were considered experts in, in fitting those types of lenses. Uh, and every single place I went, I pretty much had the same experience, uh, which is I would... Um, get the scleral lenses and the initial comfort would be great um, but after a couple hours um, the lenses would start to to break down and my eyes would deteriorate um, I don't know how else to describe it except to say that it felt like my eyes were suffocate, suffocating underneath the lenses um, it, they would burn um, they would become red uh, and if there was a hot burning sensation um, and they were pretty much intolerable and uh, it, if I wore the scleral lenses on a day, the next day I'd be unable to wear them. Um, and every consecutive day my wearing time would decrease more and more. Um, and so I, it came to a point where um, with, these, with the scleral lenses, I would save up wearing time. I would wear my glasses throughout the week and then for major occasions I would pop in the scleral lenses. And it was about a 50-50 proposition of whether or not they would uh, be able to get me through uh, the six to eight hours that I would need them. Um, and like I mentioned, I made multiple trips around the country. Um, every lens felt different, but every lens ultimately um, came, came to the same conclusion. Um, you, you know, and I, I couldn't even identify in some lenses, you know, where the issue was. It was more of like a s s uh, systematic problem that I was experiencing. So I tried scleral lenses um, exclusively for over a year. Um, I spent thousands of dollars, I spent weeks away from home, um, and I really didn't feel like I was making much progress. Um, and at the same time, I was also seeing local optometrists, um, and during a bout of inflammation I was having, he uh, prescribed uh, steroid drops. And what I noticed was that uh, if I took the steroid drops before I put the scleral lenses in, um, it doubled my wearing time. It went from four to six hours to uh, eight to twelve. Um, you know, I didn't have any of the redness or the inflammation or the burning that I had, uh, you know, when I was wearing the scleral lenses without the story drops. And so I actually was wearing this, the, uh, st the uh, scleral lenses about once or twice a week uh, with the steroid drops. And I, I knew that that wouldn't um, last long term. So I started looking into other options. And I ended up trying these specialty soft contact lenses that had just come out. I mean, I traveled even further for those. And... Uh, for with those, the vision was actual, or the comfort was was really good. You know, it was much better than sclerals. I could wear the soft lenses all day, um, 
but uh, even though the vision in my right eye was actually you know decent, I could live with it. Uh, we could never get the the vision right in my left eye, um, and so I I sort of hit another wall. Um, but I was kind of encouraged um, by that experience, just because I could wear the lenses, you know, uh, eight to twelve hours. I could wear them basically all day, um, and. The funny thing was, up to that point, I, I sort of went off on my own to try the specialty contact lenses. Um, but up to that point, every doctor that I had consulted with had encouraged me to continue wearing scleral lenses. Um, and because of that, because and because I had you know zero success really with scleral lenses, um, I became really discouraged, almost to the point where I stopped being uh, fit and I stopped pursuing um, new. Uh, new solutions um, because I was pretty much you know, set in the fact that if I couldn't wear scleral lenses I couldn't wear anything because um, that's basically what I had read online um, and that's you know sort of the indication that I had also received from a lot of doctors because they were they were surprised that I couldn't wear scleral lenses um, they when they saw that the design uh, on my eye looked good and it looked like it fit properly um, they were sort of at a loss to explain why I wasn't achieving success. So when I could wear the specialty contact lenses, uh, I, you know, I, I felt a little bit better, but you know, still I didn't have an answer. Um, and uh, I had also been uh, conversing with Dr. Maller via email um, during this time uh, because I, I read online that he was really good at fitting RGP lenses um, and had some really good recommendations. And at this point, I had sworn off sclerals. I wouldn't put another sclera on my eye, I, I had decided that that uh, they just wouldn't work out for me um, whatsoever. Um, and so I went to Dr. Maller uh, and he fit me with RGP lenses and I, I immediately noticed they fit and felt better than the RGP lenses that um, I had tried, you know, two years ago when I had started this whole um, ordeal. Um, and uh, after, see, at the first week that I saw them, um, I came home with lenses, uh, and they they felt pretty good. Um, they weren't perfect, but I could I could wear them all day. Um, I had no I, um, I had no immediate redness, uh, and, and so I at this point I was really encouraged, and so I went and saw him again. Um, and over the course of three weeks, uh, he managed to successfully fit me. Um, I can wear the lenses. Uh, you know, 12 to 15 hours a day if I need to. Um, my eyes uh, don't get red. Um, I don't suffer from any inflammation. Uh, the vision quality is good. It's basically, you know, all the ingredients to a successful, you know, fit. It was everything that I was looking for. Um, and so I'm, I'm very grateful uh, that, that he, uh, he stuck with me and, and you know, uh, was able to, to you know, improve the quality of my life substantially. Uh, and and the, you know, the, the, the neat thing about his fitting process is that um, even though uh, it, took, it took two and a half weeks, I think, to, to come up with the right lens design, I always felt like we were moving in a, in a direction and we were moving purposefully. And I felt like each lens came with improvements. Um, and I felt like Dr. Maller was always able to identify what the problem was and come up with a uh, idea of how to fix it. Whereas with scleral lenses, um, it, I, I, I mean, obviously, I don't know, you know, exactly what the fitting process is, but it felt like after the first few lens designs, um, the uh, practitioners were just, you know, throwing darts at a board and seeing what stuck. And um, so, uh, to sum it up, um, the RGP lenses that I got from Dr. Maller, um, they, they've they uh, are just as comfortable as the specialty soft contact lenses I've tried, um, and the vision is, is you know exactly what I was hoping for, um, and so uh, you know uh, my issue was resolved um, in the couple weeks I spent with him, um, and uh, uh, I'm very grateful, um, and I hope this video helps. Thank you.